Hello, this is Tommy. Welcome back to Chatomics. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you several commonly used but powerful, useful uh, Unix commands for you to wrangle uh, genomic data formats. And we know bioinformatics is, bioinformatics is notorious for different uh, file formats. For example, you can have a FASTQ file, FASTAR file, BAT file, or VCF file. But in essence, all those files are just regular text files or txt files. And Unix commands are perfectly designed to uh, wrangle those files. Because many times, uh, you just need to actually wrangle uh, from one data format to a different data format in order for you to feed it into a different bioinformatics software or uh, downstream processing. So mastering the uh, Unix commands uh, is essential uh, for your daily bioinformatics work. And today I will show you how to use uh, uh, commonly used commands such as head, tail, to export the file and what wc or what count, uh, sort, unique, cut, and uh, demonstrate two uh, command seed commands and uh, awk awk commands uh, to wrangle a file called bad file. Okay, so let's go to the terminal and if you look at the file ls, this file called my.bat file. So bioinformatics, they usually use this suffix to determine what kind of format it is. It's the bat file, but in essence, just a txt file. We can use uh, the cat commands uh, to look at the file content. So if you use cat commands, it will print out all the File, uh, all the contents, all the rows for that file. And so this is the one of the simplest uh, file format called bat file. So you have three columns, say chromosome name, the start and end. And uh, it could be, in reality, it could be just a, a peak file uh, from a chip sequencing experiment. So uh, essentially those are where the transcription factor binding sites are. Uh, so you want to see okay how how many rows or how many peaks in this file so you can pipe it to a command called wc or what count dash l or only want the line number so pipe essentially just tells you okay the output of this uh, command will be the input of the next command so it's you can chain uh, as many as actually unix commands together if you want so if you do this, so there are a total of 13 lines or 13 rows in, uh, uh, in this file. So if you have a file that's a huge gigabyte and it, you have millions of rows here, so you don't want to print out all the, file, uh, all the rows in the screen, so you can use the head command. So it will just show you by default the first 10 rows of that file. So you can use specify an uh, argument so dash n space five so if you do this it will only print out the first five rows okay and similarly you can use the tail commands so by default it will print out the last 10 rows of the file and this is really uh, useful uh, to just uh, inspect what the file content is okay uh, so if so let's actually just clear the screen and uh, take a look at the file again. And you see here uh, you have chromosome 7 actually on top and then chromosome 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, five 6, 7 here. So what if I want to sort those rows uh, based on the first, first column here? alphabetically but also the second calling here by number so what you can do you can use the so you can pipe it into the sort command and then you can specify the first field the dash k11 meaning the first field alph alphabetically by default or then the second field and um, by n uh, by the num by number so if you do this and you see quant that uh, the first column here, uh, the first row here, the chromosome seven here, will be moved into the into the uh, into the lower bottom here, like eight ten here. And once you sort the file, you can easily spot. Uh, spot. Okay, there's actually a duplicate line here. So how do I remove it? 
Okay, so what you can do, you can, okay, this trick here, you can use up arrow, it will recycle the previous commands, and if you keep uh, press arrow, it will keep recycling. And so you can uh, find the ones that you want to modify upon. So, so you sort it, and you can use pipe it into the Unix, unique commands, so which will only give you the unique rows. Okay. And actually, to verify that, that we can actually pipe it back to wc-l to see how many lines we have now. Now we have 12. If you remember, we have like 13 rows actually in the original file, right? Okay, that's cool. And how about I want to save this unique row, uh, this, uh, those rows to a new file. So you can do and you can use the green then sign and say, okay, I want to save it to a new file called unique.bad. And you use ls again, and you see there's a new file that's generated. And uh, if you look at content now, it, it only contains the unique rows of the original file, which is pretty neat. And the other commands, uh, next commands I want to uh, share with you is the cut commands so you can cut uh, different columns of the file okay so if we okay cat file then cat the original file and cut dash f the field number so i want only the first one and uh, first one and, uh, and the second uh, column so if we do this so you, you get this the, the first two columns so you can change that to, let's say, 2 and 3. Okay, the, the next two columns. Okay, you can also do 1 and 3. Okay. So how about if you want to uh, uh, reorder the columns here? So for example, if you look at the original file, this is here. But I want to re reorder the columns. Okay, for example, this column to be the last column. So you can't actually do this by cut command because if you use cut command dash f one and three give you this three and one give you the same uh, actually uh, first and the third column so in order to do that you, you can use the opt command awk so you can say print uh, so the third column and then by tab so you quote, quote that tab so slash uh, t, that means that there's a tab here. And then now you see uh, dollar sign one, this is the first column. And you use the curve bracket. So now you only have two columns and then you have the, actually the first column reordered to the second column here. Okay, so you can do more here. For example, uh, let's say keep the first column, the chromosome name as is but you want to actually reorder the third and second column here. So tab again, and S2 here. So if you can compare the original file here. Um, so, so you see those two columns, they are switched. Okay. Okay. You can use awk commands for even more things. For example, you have numbers in the second and the third column, and you want to add up some numbers or re, uh, or minus some numbers. What you can do here, you can do awk uh, print command s1 makes, make it the same, but this for the second column, I want to add just one, and then s3 the same. Okay, so if you do this, you will see the first column and the third column remains the same, but the second column, you add one, actually. Okay, so eight becomes nine, one becomes two. This is useful because sometimes, uh, for example, you have a peak file or you have a pro promoter bad file. You want to, for example, get the uh, promote, uh, the TSS file, for example, you have the transcription start site, so you want to get the 500 base pair upstreams and you want to actually minus for example 500 for the second row for the second column okay uh, and also 
the thing is here, the first column here, we have CHR, the, um, the character here. But depending on the reference genome you use, sometimes they just have seven or one. And maybe some of the bitemap tools, they require you to remove those CHR characters. So to do that, we can use the seed command. So we can uh, substitute. So how you use it is S in, in substitute and the CHR and replace it with an uh, empty string. And if you do this, it will actually remove the CHR. And to make it more specific, you can add the character sign here. This means the start of the line. So you only remove CHR when it shows up in the beginning of the line. Okay, it will show you the same thing here. And you can actually put those uh, CHR back. For example, use the seed command again. And you can see, okay, now I just uh, change the start, beginning of the line to CHR. And now, uh, let's see. Now you put this back, right? CHR. So you can remove the CHR line or uh, uh, the characters or add it back um, based on the needs of your uh, bioinformatics tool. Okay, uh, that's it for today. Uh, I just showcase you several uh, usage case of uh, some commonly used Unix commands. I hope you see how powerful are they, and uh, it takes time to learn more uh, new, uh, more and new actual tricks for Unix, and I really love it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, and uh, click subscribe if you like it, and see you next time.